All right, guys, how's it going? Going off grid again, and we got the reliable inverter running just the garage again for a test. The Magnusine inverters, they're running the rest of the house. We're gonna test this 8,000 watt inverter once more. So, just to show you that, it's sorry, not just the garage, it runs this room as well. And just to show you guys, I'm gonna shut the inverter off and all the lights are gonna go out. Turn it back on. Runs this room and the garage. Now let's get to testing. All right, here's our test setup, guys. We got this 12 inch DeWalt miter saw. Here is the model number. You're gonna have to read it upside down. DW718. And we're gonna see, it is a 12 inch. See right there. See how this uh, works in that inverter. We're gonna look at the voltage and everything. One more time. Okay, it sagged to uh, about 101 volts or so, but that is also to take in consideration we have extension cords and the house wiring, but still, like even if the inverter only dropped to 105 volts, that's still not bad for starting up a, a large load like this. Now, we're gonna do the same thing with the compressor in my trailer. How's it going, guys? We're gonna do a quick test of this generator. We're running on gasoline, and it is plugged into the generator right there. And then, this cord runs all the way into my work trailer, where we are going to start this very large compressor. It's very hard to start this compressor. Here's the voltage coming from that generator. Here's the compressor. We are only sitting at about 20 pounds of uh, compressor. And to show you what the generator does on start up. So it went down to about the same voltage, about 100 volts, just a little higher, maybe 102 volts. We're gonna let this run, get up the pressure, I'm gonna leave it on, and then we're gonna we're gonna pull the release valve, which will let some air out until the compressor wants to turn on and then we're going to see what the voltage goes to then we're going to do this on the reliable operating voltage 118 volts now this is going to take a while we're at what are we at A little over 50 uh, pounds of PSI now. And for those that didn't see it last time, this is a one point, uh, hold on a second, get the light on, there we go. This is a 1.8 horsepower, Code E motor. Takes a ton of power to start. Yeah, once this thing fills up, I'll get back to you guys. All right, we're almost at full pressure. Have this set the pump almost all the way up to 150. We're sitting at about 118 volts, just shy. We're getting there. Like I said, this thing takes forever. As the pressure goes up, the voltage goes down because it takes more power. Just about 150 psi, guys. So this is this is high pressure for even this compressor. It's it's up near its limits. So starting this will be a lot harder than normal because I keep the pressure extra high. Should be shutting off any second. go 
and she just shut off at a hundred and well, almost 160 and that anyways uh, loud noise alert guys I'm gonna get uh, the hose with two male ends and plug this baby in wish this camera would stay focused here we go Get on the inverter. All right, we're inside. Got the reliable running. Got uh, my Sony camera on the reliable to catch the inrush current and the battery voltage and everything on here. And you'll be able to hear if this makes any big humming sounds or whatever when it starts. And let's go uh, get to the test. All right, connected back to the reliable. Running all the way to the trailer again. And this is full pressure start on the reliable inverter. And it's uh, about 13 degrees out today, so it is a little bit cooler. I run really thick oil in here because this is an old pump. This is about four or five years old, something like that. So this is going to be a loud noise alert again, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand here so it doesn't go all over the place again. One second here. There, we got her figured out. So I'm going to plug this in one-handed and then we're going to watch the volts on the reliable. Hopefully everything just works good and uh, we get a successful run. We're about to find out. Loud noise alert. more of a sag in the soft start went down to 86 volts that's through a total well actually we'll be able to see in the other camera what the voltage at the inverter sag to we are running at 116 volts that's pretty good we're almost the same as the generator that's that's pretty good guys man. I'm really liking this inverter. That's that's fantastic. And here's the pressure again, so you can see it is the same. Wow, that's really nice man. Thoroughly impressed. About to shut off. Well, in my opinion, this is a very, very powerful inverter. That, that's amazing. Just like the generator, it slowly dropped a couple millivolts. There you go. That's incredible. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, look at that. The sun's coming out to replenish some of the power I just used. See you later, guys.